Hey everybody and welcome back to another Joe Pank Instructional Heroclix video. Um, after I did the skirmish setup video, I think it was on YouTube, somebody asked, hey, can you do a video just kind of going through how a skirmish turn works? So here we are. We have three teams, I already set them up, and I really did roll for them just to try and have a real feel for it, which is weird. Um, got the bombshells versus WWE versus the Turtles. Um, a few things, we're gonna start this like it's the first turn of the game. The rules refer to everyone getting each round, or each, you get one round for every 100 points of the build. I'm going to call that initiative for uh, our purposes because I think reusing round in a different way in skirmish is gonna confuse things. So you get one initiative phase for each 100 points, so this is 300 points, so each team is going to get three initiative phases. An initiative phase, translate this to round when you read the rules, <clears throat> is one costed, one free. A character cannot be given any free actions during the first turn of the game. And the costed and free during the rest of the game does not have to be given to the same character. We're gonna to get to that in a minute. Um, the other thing, and actually I did it wrong, so I'm gonna fix it live on the air. Not live, I'm recording this. We did, with all the Brotherhood figures out there now, and the figures in X-Men Animated that allow you to remove tokens and leadership and uh, everything like that. Leadership doesn't matter so much, but it gets a little confusing if you're not actually giving action tokens to characters or you're removing them after action resolve as to, you know, well, who went, how many have you used, etc. So what I've done is I've taken these three markers. We're going to go WWE because they're the biggest, excuse me, turtles because they're there, and um, bombshells. For each initiative, oh dear, you, this is something you used in other games. This is your one initiative, okay? I did my cost, I did my free. Boom, it's gone. So at least you can keep track, especially in something like this where two of the teams have four characters. So, uh, WWE is first player, TMNT is second, Bombshells are third. Beginning of the turn. You resolve, everybody resolves their beginning of turn effects. I didn't pull anybody's cards because I don't need to, but each team does have leadership because Wonder Woman has leadership. So, WWE, I oh know, WWE doesn't. So, WWE is not going to roll for leadership. Um, TMNT will. Leo gets it. Doesn't actually matter. And then Wonder Woman gets it. There. Beginning of turn, done. If you had any choices to make, that is when you make them. You make them all together. You let everyone know what's going on. Then we actually get to the action phase, just like in a normal Heroclix game. But this is where the whole initiative thing comes in. So WWE goes first, and we'll do this for fun. So Mankind has charge. Can't be given any freeze during the first turn. Mankind's gonna charge to there and attack Leonardo. I have no idea what values or anything. Oh, but Mankind totally hits Leo. Hits Leo for three damage. Leo has toughness. It's the first turn. So, there's dust on it. Leo can either reduce it by one because he has toughness on his dial, or he can say, I'm gonna reduce it by two. He's gonna reduce it by two. Take one click. Now he doesn't have leadership anymore. This is important because of how leadership interacts with bonus rounds, which we will get to because Wonder Woman's not going to lose her leadership. Mankind gets a token because he took a costed action. Mankind attacked during the first turn so after resolutions, he also gets a second token. He is now pushed. Boom. WWE took one turn. Turtles. Raphael is not happy about his brother getting hit. So he's going to flurry. Yeah. Gets Mankind. He totally hits. Why don't I roll this ball in a real game? Okay, so... When Raphael uses Flurry, he deals penetrating damage. He's only dealing two. I think so. I might be forgetting, but it doesn't actually matter. We're going through the things. So, Mankind can take the two penetrating, or he can say, hey, this is the first turn. 
first turn allows me to reduce penetrating damage. I'm gonna reduce it by two. I'm not gonna take any damage. Raph says, okay, fine. I'll roll again. Oh, I hit you again. Now, it's penetrating. Mankind cannot reduce it again because WWE has already reduced it the once per turn. So he takes two. Not doubles. Uh, do I want to do that? Yeah. Might as well make it worth it. Then, Raphael's going to use their trait. Move up to two squares, I think. It doesn't matter. You can do with this. So then he hits Undertaker for another two. Whoop. And that's why WWE is so crazy. Or Turtles were so crazy. He gets a token. He gets a second token because he attacked during the first turn. Turtles burned one initiative. Bombshells are kind of feeling left out. But one, two, three, four. I don't think they can one, two, three, four, five, six. They can't actually get anywhere. So Really? I'm overthinking this one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm just gonna one, two, three. Okay, one's gonna be a dummy and just go there, because who cares? I'm trying to get you guys through the turn. <clears throat> There's that. Now the WWE goes again because they were first. At this point. Even though it's still technically the first turn of the game. I'm making a video. We're going to skip ahead. Everyone's still staying where they are. It's now the second turn. So now people are going to start doing things. Even though they, you know, theater of the mind. So let's assume it's second turn. We roll for leadership. Nobody made it. Blah, 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 blah. Just for simplicity. So... Three, six. Oh, damn. Stone Cold has outwit. He's going to outwit Raphael's um, combat reflexes. Taker is going to just take a swing at Raphael and get a crit. Because why not? <laughs> it's fucking stupid game. All right. One, two, three, four. His combat reflexes was outwitted by Stone Cold. So, boom, boom, takes another one for it in the wall, and he's KO'd. <laughs> and that's the way, he might not have been KO'd, whatever, I don't care. I think he was still on a second click. But who cares? WWE, let's again, let's assume we're going for theater of the mind here. Um, Turtles, Donnie's not happy what happened to his brother, he's going to attack Undertaker. He hits... One, two. Ooh. Take her ass prop now. Uh, Wonder Woman. Super not happy. That doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I shouldn't have moved there. So let's do this. One, two. That should change anyway. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Harley's gonna charge. Quake misses. Good job, Harley. Um, yeah. So turtles, bombshell. So now they each have one action left. It's gonna matter in a minute. Uh, Stone Cold. Can't be given an outwit again because he's already been taking a free action, but he can be given a costed action. He doesn't really have any costed actions. Oh, Undertaker has submission. That's not going to matter, though, because he can't see nobody. And if he tries to break away, yeah, this is where, this is where action choice matters. Leo is just going to punch mankind or try to. Misses. It's fine. It's better for moving things along. WWE is now out of an, of action. It's out of initiative phases. Turtles. Mikey's got flurry. It's the only thing I remember. So he's gonna flurry Harley. As I say, if he hits a crit, that's hilarious. 
he hits, but she does not roll super senses. One, two, or one, two, three. One, two, three. She did have perplex. That's what I forgot she could have done. Second attack. He hits because apparently my dice like this. One, two, three. Like this thing. Because I'm using tokens, we'll give him the token. Harley's dead. So, in this scenario, WWE would have, well, Turtles would have six points. Because six points kills her. WWE would also have six points. So, roughly a third to ending the game. Um, oh, yeah, because Man Guy's had him. So, do -do -do -do. initiative is done. Harley's dead, so that doesn't help. Uh, Wonder Woman is going to try and finish off Taker. Sure. One, two, three, four. And no, she can't get there, can she? One, two, three, four. Fine, she's going to attack Donatello. Why not? She hits Donnie for three. One, two, three. Okay. So normal initiative is over. Three phases during the action phase. However, Leo doesn't have leadership, so Turtles don't get it. Wonder Woman does have leadership, which means the bombshells now get a bonus round. They get an additional one, no matter how much leadership you have. It's just same principle as normal hero clicks. You get one additional phase. Which is kind of funny. Because all Heidi's really going to do is go one, two, three, four. Hey, there you go. <clears throat> and that's the turn. Then you do your end of turn effects. Anyone that didn't take an action would clear. Anything that triggers at the end of the turn triggers all at the same time. Next turn... Why am I burping suddenly? Next turn begins. You still one room zone over leadership. You roll their leadership. Bully. I think she actually gets something because she's within so many squares, but and so it goes. Um Ah, that's pretty much it. Take her prob, they have said it that prob is once per once per action phase. Or no, twice per action. Once, once when it's your initial... Here we go. This is not how they phrase it. This is how I'm going to phrase it. Once when it is your initiative during the action phase, and once when it is not your initiative during the action phase. So unlike a battle royal, in a battle royal, you can prob on everybody's turn because how prob is worded. For this, because it's all technically the quote-unquote same turn, once when it's your initiative, once when it's not. Um... Or maybe only once. I'll have to double check that, actually. Don't check the rules. Because <laughs> that might be... That's a little sticky thing that's different with how they're doing it. But either way works. Either way, because this is a bastard format, and it's new. So either way is fine. It's just that you're not going, oh, prob, and then prob on the bombshells, and then prob on turtle. No, no, no. It's prob, and then either that's it or each. Um... I did costed and non-costed and showed how that interacts. Double tokens. I think that's it, guys. If you have any other questions, send them in comments. <clears throat> I'm going to post this in all the groups. Post it in those comments. Um, and if you don't like skirmish format, cool. I'm not asking. But if you do like skirmish format and you have more questions, let me know. And I'll try to answer as best I can because I love the format. And as you can see, it can go really quick once you know what's going on. So... Thanks for watching, everybody.